But today, we're taking a trip under the sea because we got a SpongeBob edition. Yeah. Oh my god, Ron. I don't care about your man. I don't give a fuck. With my wrist, I hit my dance. Yeah, you pussy up and do my dance on it. This is a tag team, call my bands on it. She don't want a game, bang. When I want a game. What's going on, guys? It's your boy XX the Don, and I'm back at it with another review video. But today, we're taking a trip under the sea because we got a SpongeBob edition. Alright guys, so right now I wanted to take the time to thank you for 100 subscribers, that means a lot to me. 100 subscribers, that's 100 people, that fills up this whole room. It's a lot of people, so I really appreciate 1 to 100, I appreciate all of you guys for taking the time out your day to subscribe. Alright, I'm not trying to get too emotional for 100 subscribers, but uh, let's get into this video. So on August 10th, NBA superstar Kyrie Irving came out with the Spongebob Squarepants times Nike Kyrie 5 and Low 2. Spongebob pack. This pack consisted of Kyrie's signature shoe models dedicated to the main characters of Spongebob Squarepants. Patrick Starr and Squidward had their own shoe in a Kyrie 5 model and Sandy Cheeks and your boy Mr. Krabs the money maker had his model in the Kyrie 2 low. And then of course yours truly Spongebob had his own Kyrie 5 model. Two months later Kyrie Irving on his season debut with the Brooklyn Nets dropped 50 points in these joints right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you right now with the SpongeBob SquarePants times Nike Kyrie 5 Pineapple House. Let's just take a moment to take it in right there. The variations of vibrant colors all throughout the shoe, all those subtle details. Yes, guys, I'm gonna say it again. God damn. So I normally start off with the outsole, but this is just such an exciting shoe that I don't think you guys wanna see the outsole right now. You guys wanna see the details, and you want me to go in depth on this upper right here. This shit is just beautiful. So without further ado, let's start with the upper. So as you can see, this whole shoe resembles the pineapple under the sea which Spongebob lives in. And right there, you can see those details up and close of the pineapple pattern throughout the whole shoe. Look at that. Damn, damn, damn. On the side of the shoe, you have my favorite part of the sneaker which is this really cool looking wave of a check. Just look at that detail. It isn't a, a super aligned Nike check. You can see waves and ripples throughout it. And you know, you got the, the, the sea water right there. So on the upper of this shoe, we have the Nickelodeon logo right there. And covering the whole upper, we have this fly trap right here. And coincidentally enough, it looks exactly like the leaf on top of SpongeBob's house. So this flytrap right here isn't just there to look like a freaking leaf on a pineapple. It is actually for your containment. Kyrie, in my opinion, has the best crossover in the game. So obviously he needs to stay locked in. This flytrap right here traps your foot, hence the name flytrap and contains you, you know, it keeps you in place. So, you can't afford to be slipping and sliding inside the sneaker, as I'm sure many hoopers have experienced before, I have as well. Thankfully enough, this helps a lot with that, and it keeps you locked in at all times. So moving forward, we have some blue laces. Unfortunately, they're not swappable, they did not come with an extra pair of laces, but that's fine because I think it goes perfectly with this color. The tongue, as you can see, has Kyrie's signature logo right there. And same with the other sneaker. Boom. Also, a subtle cool detail that they put was on the back of the left shoe's tongue. They put my boy, Gary. Meow. So on the back of the shoe, we have the heel. And right here, we have what seems to be SpongeBob's door handle to his pineapple house. And we have this cool, nice uh, foam material. And right up above that, we have this uh, pattern of black and white. And it's like this cool rubber material. Like I said, the subtle details on the shoe are just amazing. And it makes you love it that much more. We have this V right here. And then 
we have uh, SpongeBob's face right inside the sneaker, you know, to give you good vibes when you're about to ball out, you know, that's awesome. Moving on to the midsole, we have the traction creeping up as it does on all Kyrie's. The purpose of this is that so when you cross over and you bend your foot, you're covered on all angles. And obviously Kyrie bends his foot in every which way. Here we have some uh, blue and yellow speckles going throughout that shoe. Resembling, you know, the vibes of Spongebob pretty much. So Kyrie and Nike love putting these small little details, which is such a beautiful thing. Because I didn't even see this. It says Elizabeth right there. And then a date, which I'm guessing is obviously her birthday. And Elizabeth, if you didn't know, is Kyrie Irving's daughter. And right here, across the shoe, you can see in small little lettering, it says engineered to the exact specifications of Kyrie Irving. Guys, right here it says Air Zoom Turbo. So pretty much the new technology Nike came out with is Nike Air Zoom Turbo. It is a zoom unit, but it's distributed into sections. See this is the LeBron Clear J Low. Yes, these are a heater. Oh my God. If you want a review on this, please let me know. But anyways, you see the huge air zoom unit right there? Kyrie pretty much compacted it and put it into a smaller version, uh, a more like seamed version, a version where it's distributed in the fourth foot. That's the best way I can explain it. And uh, yeah. And obviously Kyrie would prefer, you know, a more compact zoom unit because he's a slender, shifty, you know, guard that, you know, just crosses over. He's a slasher pretty much. All right, last but not least, we have the outsole right here with the all-seeing eye and then Kyrie's logo right there. You can see the traction going in every which way of direction just to cover Kyrie on all angles. And Kyrie's are known to have the best traction on court from back in the day. These have the nicest traction. It's gonna stick to the ground. Even on the dusty courts, you know, one wipe and you'll be good. So guys, for this sneaker right here, I would say go true to size. I went half a size down personally and it fits very snug, but that's just how I like my shoes. You know, everyone has their personal preference, but biggest tip, as I always recommend to everyone, try them on in store. Depending where you are, I don't know if they're gonna have this exact color scheme. Where I'm at in Canada, they sold out pretty much everywhere. So if you can't find this exact same colorway, they will most likely have other Kyrie Fives sitting there. You could try those on and then order these joints online. So I purchased these at Exclusity, which is a shop in Canada. And uh, retail for these, let me check real quick was 170 in us it's 130 and obviously the price difference in canada and us are different so it costs 170 in canada and in the us it is 130 so i pretty much covered everything in this video about this beautiful awesome spongebob sneaker if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and also if you want to see more reviews like sneakers on these beautiful lebron clear jade low let me know in the comment section subscribe if you did not like this video do all that for your boy and show me some support it's been your boy xx the don and i'm out peace